Okay, some examples from page 482. We'll start with number 29. First thing to do, you s rewrite, rewrite this as cosine squared x times cosine squared x. I like parentheses. It neatens things up a little bit. Now I'm going to use the power reducing formula to substitute for that. So what is cosine squared x in the power reducing? It's 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. You'll notice that changes from x to 2x. If that was 5x, this would now become 10x over 2. Alright, now I have two of these, so let's write it again. Over 2. Alright, now let's do some multiplying. Whole bottom becomes 4, you with me on that? And then, this is a binomial, 1 times 1 is 1. Middle term, cosine 2x, cosine 2x, that's 2, cosine 2x, plus cosine squared 2x. Uh-oh, we got another squared again. Got to get rid of that. Power reducing formula. So, 1 plus 2 cosine 2x plus... And the replacement for that is going to be something over 2. 1 plus cosine, you know what it is, 4x. And this whole thing is over 4. So I'm getting kind of a mess with fractions here. All right, let's get a 1 under there. 1 under here, we need common denominators. So we'll have a complex fraction for a second. This is going to be 2 plus 4 cosine 2x plus 1 plus cosine 4x all over 2. So I made that top one nice fraction. Um, I guess you can't really see that, can you? There, there we go. Alright, 2 times 2 is, uh, 2 times 4 is 8, so now we're going to rewrite this fraction with an 8 on the bottom, and I'll add like terms. Notice I have a 2 and a 1 there, so we're going to make that 3 plus 4 cosine 2x plus cosine 4x. Now we have no powers in here, so this is good. You can leave the answer like this or rewrite it like this. 1 eighth times 3 plus 4 cosine 2x plus cosine 4x. This second answer is the one you'll see in the answer book, and it does look a little bit nicer. Test situation, I would mark either one correct, but get used to being able to write it like this. There you go. All right, so here we go now with 35. This one, we have to use what's called the half angle formula and this special triangle. Now, you'll notice they didn't give us one of the sides. Hopefully, some of you might know that's a special triangle that's used a lot, and this side is 17. If you didn't know that, you could find it by using Pythagorean theorem. So, here we go. I'm going to use the half angle formula to rewrite cosine theta over 2 as 1 plus what? You know? You got to look it up in the book there. 1 plus cosine theta all over 2, underneath the radical, plus or minus. So there's two answers, basically. Now, now I just plug and chug here. Plug in the numbers. 1 plus, what is the cosine of theta? 15 over 17, I hope you got that. All over 2. Whole thing under the radical here. Now, I need to get com combine this for like terms, so let's make this 17 over 17. So now I'm going to get 32 over 17 all over 2 underneath this radical. Can I rewrite that as, do you know, 32 over 4, right? And then I can reduce it. Oh, wait a minute, not 32 over 4, 32 over 34, 17 times 2 is 34. I'm going to reduce it, how about 16 over 17, 
How about take the square root of 16 over square root of 17? 4 over root 17? Can't leave that, can I? So, 4 root 17 over 17, plus or minus, final answer. You know how to do that. All right, I got one more to do, 41. Okay, in this one, I'm asked to find the three trig functions sine, cosine, and tangent of 75. I'm going to do one, and you'll be able to finish the rest of it um, after I get this done. So the sine of 75, 75 is not one of our special triangles. So um, I try and think of how I can use 75 to get a special number, and I know that 75 times 2 is 150. So I can write sine of 75 as sine 150 over 2. And then I use the half angle formula to solve this. And it's really pretty easy. Just look at the formula. And you see that it's 1 minus cosine 150 over 2. I'm pretty much done at this point. I just need to find out what is the fraction that I can put in there for cosine 150. Again, you need to think about the triangle. Where is 150? It's in the second quadrant. If that's 150, right, what is this here? It's a 30, so I have a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. 1, 2, root 3. The 2 is positive. What about the 1? Yeah, that's positive. What about the root 3? Minus. So, now I just plug in the numbers. So, 1 minus the cosine of this angle is negative root 3 over 2, negative root 3 over 2, all over 2. Rewriting, 1 plus root 3 over 2, all over 2. And that is the answer. Can you see that? Oops, let's fix it so you can see it. And you're pretty much done. Now, the answer book won't leave the problem like that, so they're going to do a little more simplifying, and I would like you to be able to do that, too. So, underneath the radical, I'm going to make this 2 over 2, so I'm going to write 2 plus root 3 over 2, all over 2. Do you see what's coming from that? That becomes 2 plus root 3 over 4. Again, we're still all under the radical. That can come out as a 2, so I can write a 1 half in front, and 2 plus root 3. And that's a better answer.